Most excellent. Most excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction of Corbin. I'm Rick. It's been a while since we've done that. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you, for some Patreon. Follow us to the account, subscribe, like button. We used to do it all the time. We did used to do you that all the just time. Just bring me great joy to yes, blow, blow out people's ears. ears, eardrums, yep. uh, while we did our intros. It's true. So gotcha. Aha! Uh, welcome back. Today we're doing another movie review. And we, the yeah, reason you're like, why are you in this dark void? You know why? <laughs> we're inside an you're enormous. Mother. Yes. Uh, that's what I call her, the dark void. The dark <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call her or it? <laughs> A film about the patriarchy. I great spent great last jokes. night, uh, the dark void. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we just got out of the uh, 2013 film, just came out. Uh, thank you for coming. Yes. Uh, and uh, directed. And What's weird is this film may actually give out free orgasms. It was really nice. Yeah. I did it at least twice. Yeah, I could, it was very interesting. Why uh, you did that with your shoes, though? Was, well, yeah, I'm a pointer. You're going to need I'm new a, shoes. I'm a pointer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> off the rails already. Wow. Uh, directed by uh, Karen Bulani. Uh, written by... Forgive me if I mispronounced that. Uh, two... Radhika Anand and, and Prashanti Singh, yes. And uh, produced by Anil Kapoor, amongst, yep. uh, I guess, a lot all the of other Kapoor's. Uh, starring... Uh, Boomy. Yep, Boomy uh, Petnikar. And, and a couple, obviously, other people, but uh, this is a Boomy star, uh, uh, in my opinion. Um, but this will be, we'll talk about non spoiler stuff since it just came out. Obviously, it's a smaller film. Obviously, it won't do uh, Jawan numbers or anything like that. Um, but the uh, we'll do start with that. And if we want to get into some spoils, we will let you know before yeah. we spoil the film for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Rick, your initial non-spoiler thoughts, please. Initial non-spoiler thoughts. Um, I went in with high expectations. Obviously, if you saw our reaction to the um, uh, trailer, we were really excited about the trailer. And I, my ultimate takeaway from this is I, I really liked it. I, it, all you need to know going in is it, it has flaws. But I think ultimately, if you go in with the understanding that it does have some flaws, and you're just there to enjoy. Uh, whom he carry the film and a, a story that's important. I think you will. I think you will enjoy it. I, it wouldn't surprise me if there's some people who walk away from it and didn't like it. I wouldn't have a, a bone to pick with them. But for me, it's one that I I enjoyed watching. And if for some reason, like one of the kids wanted to watch it, I would watch it with them and I would just give them a heads up and say, hey, just be forgiving of the flaws because if you do that, I think you'll have a good time. Yeah, I I overall liked it as well. I didn't love it. Um... I, I love parts of it. Parts of it I did Yeah, there's love. some parts I loved, for sure. Um, but the overall aspect, I, I didn't love everything about the film. It, like you said, I think uh, it definitely does have flaws in yeah. it. Um, but uh, one flaw is not uh, the first thing I want to talk about, which is Boomy. Correct. Uh, <laughs> she is she's, She is why the film... Uh, she, if, if there was a lesser actress... Yeah. Carrying it, it would have been. It could, it, have, been it, it could have been a big. It could have been a big train wreck. But she's so good and so enjoyable to watch on screen, and is th there's moments we can talk about her acting when we're going into spoilers that convey what a good actor she. She's a good actor, everybody. This yes. this actress can. I, I'm looking forward to watching her do meaty stuff. Yeah, and we've seen her many times, uh, mm -hmm. including famously in um, one of the films that. Did I think this kind of subject matter very very well, which is in Lust Stories? Yes. Uh, I, she was like in the Karen Johar one, correct? Yeah. Which is, um, I think that that almost is a perfect representation on a short form. Oh uh, wait a minute, was she? She was in. She was the the lead in that one, or was she somebody else? I don't think she was. Hold on, I, or is it? Kira? I thought you were going to mention. I thought you were going to mention Badai Do. Oh, she, it was definitely in that. Yeah, you're right. I might be. Uh, I don't think she was in. I might be Lust Stories. Hold on, we're looking. Get that right. No, she was in Lust Stories too. I mean, Lust Stories. She was in the first she, with Vicky. It was. Hold on. Wait, no, maybe I'm. You've lost your mind. She was in it. Hold on. Because Kira was. I so it might. She was in it for sure. I'm trying to remember if she was in Karen Johar's though. How do you find that out? Talk amongst yourselves, everybody. Um. Let me see here. We're looking at our... 
Okay, she wasn't in Karen Johars. Okay. She was in a, um, one of the other ones, though. Okay. Um, she was 100% in it. Okay. Um, but, yeah, she was not the one no, who no, started. No, 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 I apologize. Karen, that was Karen Kira, uh, the, who was uh, in um, um, uh, Shade Kapoor's... Um, he plays a bad guy. Um, Another film you're talking about? Mm-hmm. Of Shahid Kapoor's. Yes. That she's in. Not Boomy. The one that oh. <laughs> doesn't matter. The one that I was thinking Going of. Going off That the was rails. in Karen Johar's <laughs> uh, Love Stories <laughs> that had the orgasms in that one. Yes, I remember that, that vividly. Was, yes. Yes. She, she was uh, in the Shahid Kapoor from the remake of the Telugu film. Kabir Singh. Thank you. I was trying to remember the name of it. Got it. Nothing to do with this. <laughs> Forget what I said. <laughs> Any old who. So, anyways, Boomy, <laughs> who was not in Lust Stories. Uh, no, she was. But, um, not to rehash that. Uh, I thought she did a phenomenal, she carried the film uh, for me. She Every frame she, of film she's in. She, she brought um, the comedy, but she also brought the intensity, she brought the emotion, um, and she did it extremely well uh even though there were the other actors that were good in this she she was far and away the best actor in this without question uh you know she had the lead roles obviously she had the most and, to and it, obviously. she's she's the kind of actress that you can see by her work that she she i don't think she takes any role lightly and she pre- she prepares and does what she needs to do for every role the same way there's attention to detail that she does mm-hmm. there's attention to the believability factor there, there are parts of this where she could have just defaulted to a phoning it in kind of a thing or even become really cheesy. And she's she's the reason I wanted to watch every frame. And and it's I'm going to give her a compliment right now based on two factors. The first one is just the physical resemblance so often reminded me of Priyanka. Um, but she also reminds me of the best of Priyanka I've seen when she's flexing her thespianatic muscles i've i think she's i think she's better than Priyanka. that's just my opinion <laughs> that's fine. uh because just what i've seen of her like like in everything we've seen of her mm-hmm. she's knocked it out of the freaking well i consider priyanka to be a fantastic I, oh, actress, so do so. i yeah. so do i um but i just she's already shown me and i think we've probably maybe seen a little more of priyanka just barely though yeah uh, but also she's in got, lead roles yeah she's gotten much bigger opportunities yeah, yeah, yeah. for much longer of a for period sure. of time for sure and i think she i'm not saying taking anything away from her but the, the little amount that we've seen i think probably maybe four or five things so far of, of boomies she's really shown me that she's she's a top-notch actress and she, she's, she cares she's not only fun to watch she's the kind of actor that when you see the work she's doing on screen she's the kind of actor that i would want to work with as an actor absolutely uh, so she she's the reason to see the film. Absolutely, uh, see see her. Um, and then there was other aspects of it that I did really enjoy. It was fun. It was very playful. And the, the message is great. The message, the message is, um, is is good. Um, you probably disliked. I think a lot some things that I liked. Just may, the nature of the kinds of films that we like. Maybe um, I would suspect. Which like, we will talk about in spoilers. Like the biggest drawback to the film is the, I think the writing, and not like not as a whole. Right. It wasn't like the worst writing I've ever seen, but also a lot of it felt very like this is what this character is supposed to say. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to have this argument here because sure. it's going to lead to this point right here. Sure. And so there was a lot of that. Um, and I have no problem with because uh, I saw some reviews um, previous uh, on Twitter and people if <laughs> people call this film woke. Uh, which, what? Yeah, I know. It's. Absolutely. I, I can see why they would, but good grief, folks. Like, they think anything that has to do with any... Anything that's progressive is woke. Any time a, a woman is doing anything other than the ordinary, it's now woke. Uh, <laughs> which, you know, baffles the mind. Yeah. Uh, but there was actually some common story threads of stuff that we've seen earlier this year, like in OMG2, without giving anything away. Mm-hmm. There's a very similar, similar vein. plot point yeah. um, in that film that, you know, it's kind of common. And so and some of the characters were have been rehashed in many films in Hollywood, India. One character rehash we could talk about in spoilers. <laughs> no, I, that one actually I liked. We loved. Yeah, that I loved I, it. That one I, I, I enjoyed the, I loved. the shout out there. Yeah. Um, but, like, and talk about, like, the certain type of friends that then turned out to be blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then, yeah. so, like, um, Overall, like I said, I, I enjoyed the film, but there were definitely some uh, sometimes meaty flaws uh, in the writing for me that I'm like, I just uh, I wanted you to do. I wanted you yeah. to do better, maybe be a little more um, like creative. You know what it reminded me of? Mm. And I, I don't mean I mean this solely complimentary. 
I feel like this was a genuinely um, a g- strong attempt mm-hmm. to to make something commercially accessible that also touched upon very touchy subjects, pun intended, mm-hmm. in terms of what the censor board would allow to be talked about, in terms of what audiences would allow their family to go see together. And it, it, it gave me the analogy I could best give it would be a really great drawing that your kid draws for you that has some flaws if you were to grade it on artistic excellence per se, but because the attempt is so heartfelt and the meaning behind it is so heartfelt and you can see how much they cared about what they were doing, it adds a level of you know, appreciation for it that you're not necessarily going to go tout it to everybody, but you're for sure putting it on your fridge. Yeah, that's That's how I feel about this movie. This is one of those that I understand that a lot of people wouldn't like it, but for me... I think it's a really sweet movie that yeah. has an important message with Boomy just being the, the, the star the that carries it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and the, um, what were you just saying? Because I had a point based off of that. I was making the you analogy know, about it, it, it having particular aspects of it where at the initial thing I said, oh, yeah, okay, I remember. You got up. it? Okay. Um, yeah, I I was at times wishing, and maybe it was just they didn't have as big of a budget as, let's say, in a Yushman. Because mm. a Yushman would do a lot of these style of films. Oh, yeah. In terms of, like... For sure. Great message. With a social message. Something that's not normally talked about. Right. That he, he's just... The way his format is, obviously, I know he's not the director of it, but the, what the films he decides to choose with the directors, they're, it's a little more, like, concise and a little more polished and a little more... Um, with the story? With the kind of filmmaking and story. Because hmm. um, at, at there, times, there... I, it felt like it was almost... Not everything, I, and it's probably not the right word, but sometimes it felt almost, like, amateur-ish in terms of, like, the story, like, the writing of the... Especially some of the dialogue. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, it was never cringy or bothersome to um, me in the point where I was, there like, was oh, a f- God. There was a few never times had that, happen. That, that got to me with yeah. that because I'm like, I just... You know people don't talk, talk like that. Come on. <laughs> was that more toward the end? No. Oh, okay. I, it was sprinkled in a little okay. everywhere. Okay. Like, I've seen way worse. It, it happens, like, I, I'm not trying to dig on the film at all. I've seen it happen way worse in films we've watched uh, from India, from uh, in Hollywood as well. It's just there was, there was times that, because I wanted this to be like this. I wanted yeah, this to be I, one of my favorites it, of the year. It wouldn't surprise me if it was because they had the certain constraints. Maybe. I mean, granted, it's going to stream on Netflix, so that's a great thing. Yeah. But I, I, I wouldn't surprise me if there was a lot of conversations about what we can and can't say mm, versus just we're telling our story and screw all of you. I wish they, I wish more screenwriters and filmmakers in Indian cinema could Ah, this is a spoiler. I'll mm. save it. Okay. This is something that I'm going to reference something in the film. I'll save it yeah. for the spoiler section. Well, I think uh, I think you should go watch it. Yeah, I, think, I do too. I, just know, support it. Um, it. Go in for Boomy's performance because I think that's that's the that's, that's the standout. That of this and the film. message is the standout. Yeah. Uh, just know that there, it's not going to be a perfect film. Correct. Um, and and you will probably walk away with like, I wish this was better. I wish that that was better. Um, but I think it's definitely and, worth and, your time. And there might be some moments in story where you're you're thinking to yourself, okay, that's filler. Let's let's <laughs> let's get back on track yeah. a little bit. But <laughs> um, it's worth going to see. But uh, so if you haven't watched it, please go watch it. Come back. We're gonna get into some spoilers. Spoiler Just time. A couple other things you want. Now you've we seen to it. Talk about. So, what so what I was say? gonna say was, I wish. They can't because too often, no matter what they say or what they do, unless it goes to a streaming platform, if they want a theatrical release, the censor board's going to have their hand all over it. And I wish, I wish, I wish that climactic scene. I wish more writers and filmmakers could just say to censorship what she says to the audience: oh. "Fuck, <laughs> Fuck you, you all," <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. And I think that it wouldn't surprise me if we spoke with the writers. That was probably a consideration, and it may have been even something that that Anil Kapoor had said: "We want to make this accessible, and we want to get this past the censor board and keep our message intact. So if we have to forfeit." with some of the believability and the reality and keep it a bit more saccharine and Disneyfied. And I'm when I say Disneyfied, I mean like Disney Channel. Yeah. Right? This yeah. feels this feels more Disney Channel than it yeah. does a Disney film per yeah, se. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I I particularly liked for all of the flaws, because there's some continuity errors, there's mm-hmm. some things with cinematography, things that that are just pretty standard. There were also some things that were really neat that I, f- that's the thing that was endearing to me where I found they paid attention to some details like you pointed out there's an, it's not a coincidence that the Lightning McQueen sheets are on the bed. <laughs> yeah, that was very funny. Right? I, that. I also loved when she sat up at the beginning. She had the crown of lights behind her that they framed perfectly on top of her head. I also loved the fact that there was um, a, a, a there's a there's just several shots like that throughout. 
as well as sound design. There's a moment where a clock is ticking, and when the score kicks in, it kicks in at the tempo of the clock tick. Those little things of detail showed me that they, they really were doing their utmost to try to make a film that was quality. And at times it missed, but I loved, again, using that analogy of the picture you put on your refrigerator, you can I could see the attempt at making it as good as they could. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there was uh, many aspects of it that I did really like. And then I liked the whole, it basically, and I, I figured it would come to this, obviously, of it was Pun basically intended. about self, yeah, self love. I was of, hoping the end was going to be her masturbating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what was my. And part. I actually thought that sequence of, of her masturbating was actually was quite great. well done. Yes. Um, because it can come off sometimes as like uh, way too cliche at or, or either cliche or just the you're, it's it's you know provocative just to be provocative. And yeah. It didn't it? It no, was no. beautiful. I thought that 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 sequence was was really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought a lot of supporting actors. Uh, did a good job, some better than others. Agreed. Um, and a lot of it was like stereotypical, like, okay, she fell in love, obviously her high school sweetheart, or not her sweetheart, but the, the high school guy that she, she liked. And then she found another guy who was perfect, but he turned right. out to be gay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and then, like, it's very simple. Uh, Anil Kapoor, 55, dying in 15 years. Yeah, whoa. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Um, wow! <laughs> uh, I hope we get a lot more than fifteen years yeah, from uh, no Anil Kapoor. Kidding. Uh, and also, I think he's older than fifty-five, right? He, he is, is older than fifty-five. 55. Yeah. Um, but yeah, come on, yo! If y'all are expecting at fifty-five, you're only gonna have ten or fifty more years. You need to start taking better care of yourselves. <laughs> Just public announcement there. Um, and then the whole it happened at OMG too as well. All these people that had this video of these two, whatever they were doing, yeah. sexual wise, yeah. There were parents that had it on their phone. You right. should all be of tried course. for child pornography. Exactly. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Exactly. You're making the girl who did not who film did, it. And didn't even know it was being filmed. You're going to shame her. So she should sue, and he should go to jail. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's agree. happened twice. It so has like, happened twice. Why is this just normal that in films you're like, yeah, she should apologize. <laughs> right. As opposed to... All of you should go to jail. By the way, before I forget, I loved all the kids shouting out their stuff at the end. <laughs> you know, sh- you know, smash patriarchy. I'm not wearing a bra. My heart goes out to the kid who said, I'm not doing math. I'm with you, buddy. I am with you. Particularly um, algebra. And then the, um, there's the eyebrows girl there at the end. Yeah, the, I'm making <laughs> them my eyebrows done. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so uh, there was a lot of, like, cute. Because it, it, it did have a rom com feel to it, so I very rom com very of, Disney feel, uh, which I, you know I, I can appreciate. Um, and then there were just like there was a lot of stuff at like party things that I'm like, oh, that's not how people talk. Like, of course, you're, you're a 30 year old. You don't. You, of course, you're not gonna talk like that. <laughs> yeah. like, um, and the first half had a a lot of music and dancing to the point I thought. You, you just make it ninety minutes. You don't have to make it two hours. There was a lot of music and dancing mm. in the, in the first half that took me away from story, and I wanted to get back on track with story. I, I, in the second half, I did appreciate the fact that they kind of weaved it, and and I didn't see her sleeping with her. Um, obviously, she she didn't. No, I but, the whole time thought it was going to get back to her. Uh, yeah, so did I. I was yeah. like, they didn't show, so I'm assuming, but also I didn't see the element. I of was hoping it would him coming in and that for being for a while. Oh yeah, because then there's that a whole conflict nice. of she, they, her friend of 25 years came in and. Yeah, you're face. saying you didn't see that. I didn't see that Me one too. coming. I did not. Uh, obviously, she didn't. Um, but it, <laughs> I also thought it was hilarious that she came in, and then in the exact same moment, the uh, friend's mom came in. <laughs> yeah. In that exact same moment, it was very Disney in terms of like everything crescendoing oh, at the exact everything same came time. Everything came in at one time. Um, and so, like, there was a, some of those elements or some of the stuff I'm talking about in terms of I just I was hoping for. A little bit better in terms of yeah. the writing being a little bit more mature, like a Badai do. Yeah, exactly. Badai do was perfect. Yep. Uh, in how they, it was commercial, strong message. Um, it just, it, it didn't. Badai do didn't have any of those moments of, um, oh, that was cringy dialogue that you just right. said, or right, blah, exactly. blah 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 blah. Um, and I, I have no issues with the messaging because I think the messaging is important and, it really and true. Important. Yeah. Um. Uh, about sexuality, women's sexuality, yeah. women's self pleasure, women's happiness in themselves. Yeah, and as much as the, uh, we said this in the, the the trailer reaction too, as as much as a woman should feel empowered for sure and be able to feel like everybody should be able to feel completely whole sexually and that they can pleasure themselves and there's nothing wrong with that or to be ashamed about that. Uh, however, that being said, um, guys, 
please do your utmost. And if I, I would, why it even needs to be said, if you if you care about the person you're with, why wouldn't you want them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's there's that that can be learned this day and age quite easily. Um, but the the biggest thing of the the female empowerment and also sex is in all penetration. The, the, correct. <laughs> the the it's interesting that for a mom who was so uh, progressive and independent and a gynecologist, and they seem to be so close, but even still, her grown adult woman daughter had never had an orgasm which conveyed, even in the closest of relationships, that's a taboo subject that you know, ought not she be talking taboo. About yeah, why wasn't self -love mom, or... this, this really progressive, independent mom who's empowering of women, how did she, how did they not have a close enough relationship that that was the taboo subject that they couldn't talk about, apparently? The gynecologist. Yeah, the gynecologist yeah. mom with raising the daughter. It's astonishing. I don't think it's a mistake in the writing. I think it's an intentional thing to convey that we need to get better at being able to talk to our kids about all things because, oh, you know, shock, everybody. Your kids are going to have sex. They're sexual beings. I never had sex. Yeah. No. Just dreamt about it. Just dreamt about it, and then I had twins. That's it. It's, uh, yeah, it was kind of crazy. where they came from. His dreams. Um, wet dreams. Yes. And then <laughs> my wife fell over. <laughs> that was great, that scene. Oh, uh, yeah. Where I he thought... just... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to the best of us. And that was really great. That was one of my favorite moments. They didn't say anything to each other. Just, he gives her the look of, and she goes, and he looks at her again and says, um, and then it's just to get the tissue, please. Yeah. Uh, I thought he did a good job. I uh, did too. I thought you could have, with a, with a lesser actor, I think you could have uh, really made it a, a cheesy character. A yeah. Character. I thought he brought he a lot of heart to I it. I did Even too. though it is like an eccentric, nerdy Kind of, uh, kind of uppity character. It's also the quality of Bohumi is. It, I'd like to see those actors with lesser actors and see what happens because sometimes weak actors, tell you what, they work with a strong actor. It elevates their performances because you're working with somebody that's so good. Exactly. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me if if that was the case for for folks because just there's some moments. There's a little moment where she's walking with her friends just before our uh, poo shows up. Oh yeah, yeah, which we loved. Yeah, I, I did enjoy that little really shout out. Really loved she that. She looked shout like out. her. She did. They, it was intentional. They clearly casted her. Clearly, or maybe she's a sibling or a relative right. in some way. I have no idea. But it, it she looked, looked like, like her, her, man. A hundred percent. So right in that moment, she's she's walking. Bahumi's walking with, with her friends, and she hears the voice behind her. But just before that, they're walking, and there's some background people walking behind her that she makes eye contact with. And she does what anyone would do in that situation. She just has a natural, quick, hi, nice to see you moment that wasn't indicated or fake. It was just an, a generic moment that I promise you probably wasn't in the take prior to that. I don't know. But there's just these natural things that Bahumi does as an actress where she's incorporating everything that's going on. She's the kind of actress, I think, that whatever you were to give her as another actor, she would receive it and volley it back to you in a fresh way. And no two scenes would ever be the same. And she's she's just really enjoyable to watch, and in every aspect, when she's having fun, when she's doing comedy, when she's when she's doing really emotional scenes, there's this same groundedness and approach where she's she's clearly a very serious actress. I'm I'm a I'm a big fan. Really enjoyed her. Not me. I thought she was terrible. <laughs> you lie. That's true. I am lying. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about the film if. You let us know what you thought about the film, if you've uh, seen it, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, what didn't you like about it, what did you like about it, uh, what should be our next Bahumi? Yes. And I'm also, am I saying that name correctly? Because I feel like I'm not. I feel uh, like it's, I feel like there's an H and we're probably butchering it, that it's not Bahumi? just Bahumi, but it's Bahumi. Bahumi? Correct us if we're wrong. Uh, I'm probably wrong. Miss Bahumi. Um, but Pettinger. yes, please let us know uh, for that. And uh, Well, any... we know she's got something coming up. That's a big freaking oh tart or whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah if y'all yeah. don't know about that, Everybody's look it up. In that. Everybody's in yeah. that. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about this down below. Mm -hmm.